Hey, how you going everyone? It's Uncle LT here. Caught me while I was uh, knocking the froth off a cold one reading some fan mail. Old mate here, he sent a really nice message here, so I, I just want to share it with you all. So um, this message here was from Arstastic88. Basically he just reads here, LT, absolutely love your show. You are a Weber wizard and a barbecue master. Really nice message there, mate, appreciate it. Basically he just wants to find out some tips on how to cook a lamb shoulder. Um, I've never cooked a lamb shoulder before, but I, I'll tell you what, Astastic88, we'll give it a crack today and see how we go, eh? Your boy Uncle LT's on it, so we'll give it a crack. So stay tuned, crack open a cold one. <laughs> <laughs> and sit back and enjoy the next episode of LT All Up In Your Grill. Okay guys, so I've got the lamb shoulder here, um, what I've actually done, all the thicker, fattier parts on top, um, I've just cut, cut them away um, with the low and slow, that sort of stuff, unless you're going to cook it for like 9 to 12, 16 hours, that is not going to render down. So what I've done is I've cut some of those fattier parts off. Um, I've also scored it, because uh, I think with this here, I think it'll just cook a lot better, actually get that heat in there. Um, so I've scored it, a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil on there just so that the, the, the rub that I'm going to put on uh, will stick better. What I've done, um, typical flavours here, what I've done, it's not really a dry rub, it's a lot of, uh, it, it's a more of a wet, wet rub that I've done here, nice and, nice and moist. But yeah, it's, um, it's basically the same ingredient, it's got a lot of garlic, um, garlic, salt and pepper in there, a little bit of paprika. Um, rosemary um, in there um, and I've just hit it with a little bit of olive oil and I think the tip here um, especially with lamb that goes absolute bomb is um, maple syrup I like to baste it throughout the cook and put maple syrup on it it goes really really well so what I'll do with this rub I'll get it on the Weber's getting up to heat now so once I set this up get it to room temp we'll whack him on and I'll whack him on guts then we'll just get it on and um, go from there always be careful around fire so when I'm when you're lighting up the briquettes and all that sort of stuff um, make sure you know you're, you're fire smart you know especially with kids around or drunken cockhead mates just be really careful with fire eh? it's, it's not for fucking around with so we've come up to temp now so we'll put this bad boy on we'll run it for about three hours and then we'll check it then yeah so while while we've got it cooking there um, it's about time for me to practice my Pilates <laughs> Hey, how you going guys? Don't know whether you can see me, I'm not sure there's enough light here. Off. Oh, have a go at it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyway, we're three hours in, um, so we're going to check it right now. Um, what I've done at the two, two hour mark, I actually put a bit of maple syrup on. That's a bit of a trick that I, I like to do, especially with lamb, maple syrup, loves it all day, every day, Hyundai. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna put it on a bit of liquid because it's getting late. We need to fucking get the feed on. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a look at it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it in a tray here. Can you just game and have a look? A bit of pineapple on the bottom. And what I've actually got here is a stock that I've made up. It's just beef stock, a little bit of red wine and it's a shot of fireball whiskey. Um, don't worry about the alcohol that you've put in there. It will burn out, um, burn off so that the alcohol won't actually be in the food, um, but it'll just give it that flavor. So what I'll do, we'll take a look at it, throw it in here, foil it over, put it back on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the vents up hard and get that real 
fire, get as hot as I can. Um, Disco Inferno style, actually. I just said Disco Inferno. <laughs> what I'll do is we'll do that and then take a look. But I'm hoping for around two hours with a bit of moisture, get that, get that moisture going through there. And then we'll take another look, all right? Zot. So look, guys, um, it's all wrapped, all looking good. I've stuck the other probe in, so I've got a meat. So I've got the other probe in. Basically, just a couple more hours. What we'll what we'll do is we'll just take a look at the temp on here when it gets around 200, 200 or two hundred and ten Fahrenheit, or around the sort of ninety to a hundred. Um, I'm not even sure if that's the right conversions there. I just made that up on the spot. Ah! But what I'll do is I'll actually put the t um, temperatures on here so you know. But I'm just going to keep this going until it hits the temperature, then it's done, then I'll take it off, alright? Let's put this lid back on and get cooking. Oh my god, that smell is so good. Oh yeah. So guys, she's done. Um, we'll just open it up and have a look, eh? Oh. Now let's see if this is actually pull apart. Nah. Stop it, stop it! Have a go at it. Have an absolute go at it. That looks absolutely fantastic. I wonder if we might actually taste that. Actually taste that. Oh, fuck no. Oh my god, that is so, so good. So good. I reckon we get into it, guys. That's all she wrote, folks. So bloody good, lamb shoulder, sort of low and slow. You saw how it pulled apart before, it was so damn good. I'm not even kidding you, it was straight up. Very, very good, absolutely unreal. Tasted absolutely amazing. Cheated a little bit with the lamb shoulder. So we cooked it for about five hours. Um, the first three hours um, unwrapped. I cooked it for two and then after the two hour mark I kind of put a little bit of maple syrup on it um, and then opened all the vents and blasted the absolute fuck out of it really hot just to get that crust going. Then after that I put some more coals on and then I, I wrapped it up in foil with a bit of fluid and then put it back on for two hours. I let it rest for a little bit um, but basically once you get that probe in, once you've wrapped it, um, so long as it gets up to around that 200 to 210 Fahrenheit, um, you're good to go. So basically just, just wait and, uh, until it hits that and then I took it off. Absolutely unreal. Um, tasted great. It's been a fun day cooking. Um, if you like the stuff that I'm doing, um, please like and subscribe um, so that you can see all the other videos I do. Um, really appreciate everyone's um, uh, comments and that sort of stuff. It's been pretty awesome. Really, really appreciate it. And just remember guys, look, I just absolutely take the piss out of myself. Just having a bit of a laugh. Don't take yourself too seriously, all right? Um, when it comes to barbecuing or anything like that, it's about having a good time with friends and family, having a blast, knocking the froth off a couple of cold ones. It's about having a good time and having a laugh. Don't take yourself too seriously. Um, and most importantly, eat responsibly, be a good person, and there was something else. And be kind to one another. Till next time.
Oh. I'll see you when your bum cracks. Give me.